Evelina, or The History of a Young Lady's Entrance into the World is a novel written by English author Fanny Burney and first published in 1778. Although published anonymously, its authorship was revealed by the poet George Huddesford in what Burney called a vile poem. In this three-volume epistolary novel, title character Evelina is the unacknowledged but legitimate daughter of a dissipated English aristocrat, and thusly raised in rural seclusion until her seventeenth year. Through a series of humorous events that take place in London and the resort town of Hotwells, near Bristol, Evelina learns to navigate the complex layers of 18th century society and come under the eye of a distinguished nobleman with whom a romantic relationship is formed in the latter part of the novel. This sentimental novel, which has notions of sensibility and early romanticism, satirizes the society in which it is set and is a significant precursor to the work of Jane Austen and Maria Edgeworth, whose novels explore many of the same issues. The novel opens with a distressed letter from Lady Howard to her longtime acquaintance, the Reverend Arthur Villar, in which she reports that Madame Duval, the grandmother of Villar Ward, Evelina Anvil, intends to visit England to renew her acquaintance with her granddaughter Evelina. Eighteen years earlier, Madame Duval had broken off her relationship with her daughter Caroline, Evelina's mother, but never knew of the birth or even existence of Evelina until Evelina was in her late teens. Upon this discovery, Madame Duval desires to reclaim Evelina and whisk her away to France as her closest blood relation. Reverend Villar fears Madame Duval's influence could lead Evelina to a fate similar to that of her mother Caroline, who secretly wedded Sir John Belmont, a libertine, who afterwards denied the marriage. To keep Evelina from Madame Duval, the Reverend lets her visit Howard Grove, Lady Howard's home, on an extended holiday. While she is there, the family learns that Lady Howard's son-in-law, naval officer Captain Mervon, is returning to England after a seven-year absence. Desperate to join the Mervons on their trip to London, Evelina entreats her guardian to let her attend with them, promising that the visit will last only a few weeks. Villar reluctantly consents. In London, Evelina's beauty and ambiguous social status attract unwanted attention and unkind speculation. Ignorant of the conventions and behaviors of 18th century London society, she makes a series of humiliating faux pas that further expose her to social ridicule. She soon earns the attentions of two gentlemen, Lord Orville, a handsome and extremely eligible peer and pattern card of modest, becoming behavior, and Sir Clement Willoughby, a baronet with duplicitous intentions. Evelina's untimely reunion in London with her grandmother and the Brantons, her long unknown extended family, along with the embarrassment their boorish, social climbing antics cause, soon convince Evelina that Lord Orville is completely out of reach. The Mervons finally return to the country, taking Evelina and Madame Duval with them. Spurred by Evelina's greedy cousins, Madame Duval concocts a plan to sue Sir John Belmont, Evelina's father, and force him to recognize his daughter's claim to his estate in court. Reverend Villar is displeased, and they decide against a lawsuit, but Lady Howard still writes to Sir John Belmont, who responds unfavorably. He does not believe it possible for Evelina to be his daughter, as he already has a young lady who is his supposed daughter, and therefore assumes Madame Duval to be trying to dupe him for his money. Madame Duval is furious and threatens to rush Evelina back to Paris to pursue the lawsuit. A second compromise sees Evelina return to London with her grandmother, where she is forced to spend time with her ill-bred Branton cousins and their rowdy friends, but she is distracted by Mr. McCartney, a melancholy and direly poor Scottish poet. Finding him with a pair of pistols, she supposed him to be considering suicide and bids him to look to his salvation. Later he informs her that he has been contemplating not only self-destruction but more so highway robbery. He is in dreadful financial straits, is engaged in tracing his own obscure parentage, as well as recovering from his mother's sudden death and the discovery that his beloved is actually his sister. Evelina charitably gives him her purse. Otherwise, her time with the Brantons is uniformly mortifying, during her visit to the Marylebone Pleasure Garden, for instance, she is attacked by a drunken sailor and accosted by several rowdy men before being rescued by prostitutes, and in this humiliating company. She meets Lord Orville again. Sure that he can never respect her now, she is stunned when he seeks her out in London's unfashionable section and seems interested in renewing their acquaintance. When an insulting and brash letter supposedly from Lord Orville devastates her and makes her believe she misperceived him, she returns home to Berry Hill and falls ill. Slowly recuperating from her illness, Evelina agrees to accompany her neighbor, a sarcastically tempered widow named Mrs. Selwyn, to the resort town of Clifton Heights. 
where she unwillingly attracts the attention of womanizer Lord Merton, on the eve of his marriage to Lord Orville's sister, Lady Louisa Larpent. Aware of Lord Orville's arrival, Evelina tries to distance herself from him because of his impertinent letter, but his gentle manners work their spell until she is torn between attraction to him and belief in his past duplicity. The unexpected appearance of Mr. McCartney reveals an unexpected streak of jealousy in the seemingly imperturbable Lord Orville. Convinced that McCartney is a rival for Evelina's affections, Lord Orville withdraws. However, McCartney has intended only to repay his financial debt to Evelina. Lord Orville's genuine affection for Evelina and her assurances that she and McCartney are not involved finally win out over Orville's jealousy, and he secures a meeting between Evelina and McCartney. It appears that all doubts have been resolved between Lord Orville and Evelina, especially when Mrs. Selwyn informs her that she overheard Lord Orville arguing with Sir Clement Willoughby about the latter's inappropriate attentions to Evelina. Lord Orville proposes, much to Evelina's delight. However, Evelina is distraught at the continuing gulf between herself and her father and the mystery surrounding his false daughter. Finally, Mrs. Selwyn is able to secure a surprise meeting with Sir John. When he sees Evelina, he is horrified and guilt-stricken because she clearly resembles her mother, Caroline. This means that the other Miss Belmont is recognized as a fraud. Evelina is able to ease his guilt with her repeated gentle pardons and the delivery of a letter written by her mother on her deathbed in which she forgives. Sir John for his behavior if he will remove her ignominy and acknowledge Evelina as his legitimate daughter. Mrs. Clifton, Barry Hill's longtime housekeeper, is able to reveal the second Miss Belmont's parentage. She identifies Polly Green, Evelina's former wet nurse, mother of a girl six weeks older than Evelina, as the perpetrator of the fraud. Polly has been passing her own daughter off as that of Sir John and Caroline for the past 18 years, hoping to secure a better future for her. Ultimately, Lord Orville suggests that the unfortunate girl be named co-heiress with Evelina, kind-hearted Evelina is delighted. Finally, Sir Clement Willoughby writes to Evelina, confessing that he had written the insulting letter, hoping to separate Evelina and Lord Orville. In Paris, Mr. McCartney is reunited with the false Miss Belmont, his former beloved, separated by Sir John, at first because McCartney was too poor, and lowly to marry his purported daughter, and then because his affair with McCartney's mother would have made the sweetheart's brother and sister. They are now able to marry because Miss Belmont's true parentage has been revealed and the two are not related at all. They are married in a joint ceremony alongside Evelina and Lord Orville, who decide to visit Reverend Villar at Berry Hill for their honeymoon trip. Thanks for watching.